So you're in the midst of interviewing for a new job and you want to make sure the company you're interviewing with will be a great fit for you. After all, the last thing you want to do is accept an offer for a position you'll later regret. In this video, I'm walking you through seven red flags you need to pay attention to in a job interview, including if and when you should walk away and decline the job offer. And if you haven't grabbed your copy of the Career Advancement Toolkit yet, make sure you get your hands on it today. It's an exclusive suite of resources designed to help you secure your next job offer. I'm talking templates, guides, instructions, examples, and video lessons. It's your time to apply an interview with confidence. I'll place a special link for you down below. Hey there, I'm Heather from ProfessorAustin.com and I've taught hundreds of thousands of professionals all across the globe how to build their personal brand so they can land their dream job and grow in a field they love. So if you want that same thing, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification down below so you're notified when I publish a new video or host a live training every week to help you navigate your career. So here's the thing, if you're already in a toxic work environment or if you're itching to get out of your current work situation, recognizing these red flags in a job interview will be more challenging, mainly because you're in a hurry to move on. You definitely don't want to put yourself between a rock and a hard place again. It's tougher than you might think to get out of a bad job or a toxic work environment. This is why it's best to avoid getting into situations like this in the first place. Remember, you're interviewing your new employer as much as they're interviewing you. In fact, tell me in the comments down below if you've ever been in a toxic work environment. Let's continue the conversation down there. Now, the red flag I'm about to share with you are most effective once you're interviewing with a supervisor or an internal hiring official. If you run into these things with an external recruiter, usually it's too early to tell what things are really red flags and what things are not. So let's jump into it. The first red flag you want to pay attention to in a job interview is bad morale and attitude. One of the best indicators of a good work environment or a not so good work environment is the morale and attitude of the people who work there. Take advantage of the time you have during your job interview to evaluate the attitude of your interviewer and anyone else you interact with in the interview process. Ask your interviewer what they like about working there, then pay attention to what and how they say it. Do they talk about the company and their position with a passion and excitement? Do they talk positively about their coworkers and senior management? If so, this is a good sign, but if they struggle to think of the things they like about the job or if they badmouth other employees in any way, that's not a good sign and is obviously a red flag. The next red flag you want to pay attention to in a job interview is a quick turnover. During your job interview, don't be afraid to ask questions like why the position is open and how long people usually stay in the particular role. You can even ask your interviewer how long they've been in their position. It might come up that the position or other positions at the company are just hard to keep filled. If you catch on that it's a lot faster than a normal turnover rate for your industry, then this is definitely a red flag. The third red flag you want to pay attention to in a job interview is discriminatory questions. You'll recognize a discriminatory question when your interviewer asks you a personal question that has nothing to do with the job or how you'd perform on the job. And depending on where you live, the question might even be illegal. These might be questions about your family, like how many kids you have, or if you plan to get married soon. They might even be questions about your religious beliefs. Now keep in mind that the interviewer might not understand that these questions are illegal, but it's still a bad sign that they are at best not very informed and at worst trying to pry into information that is not directly related to the job or your performance. Another question that might be illegal and is always inappropriate is asking about your previous or current salary. It's natural for an interviewer to want to know what your salary expectations are. However, you shouldn't reveal your previous salary or your current salary to an interviewer at any point. Now for help addressing salary negotiation in the hiring process, check out this video right here. And hey, do me a favor. If you're finding value in this video, be sure to click the like button down below. This tells YouTube that this is a good video and it puts it in front of more professionals just like you. I would really appreciate it. The fourth red flag to keep an eye on during a job interview is a major test project. This can be tricky because it's a standard procedure for a lot of companies and industries to include some sort of skills test or test project as part of the application process. However, some companies put out job postings to hire for a position but are really looking for free help with a situation or a project at hand. Now you can usually figure out if this is the case by looking at a few things. First, is it a very intensive project that takes a significant amount of time? Are they asking for help with a hypothetical scenario that might happen 
happen to the company? Would the work you produce provide real value to the company? Is this test really early in the job interview process? If you answered yes to at least two of those questions, it's probably time to back out. Now remember, if you don't have access to the Career Advancement Toolkit yet, I'll place a special limited time link for you in the description below. Inside the toolkit, you'll find templates, resources, video lessons, instructions, guides to help make the process of landing your dream job a whole lot easier. Now the fifth red flag you need to pay attention to in a job interview is if the interview doesn't align with the expectations listed in the job description. Now you should especially be wary if your interviewer starts discussing responsibilities and tasks that are nowhere to be found in the job advertisement. Now if you're applying to work at a startup or with a smaller organization, this is a different story. You'll probably be wearing many hats as the organization grows. So it's okay if the interviewer mentions tasks outside of the original job description. And don't be afraid to ask your interviewer about it. If you're getting the sense that their expectations aren't matching what you understand from the job description. Accepting an offer for a position that has expectations that don't match the job description comes with a few risks. First, it could mean that they don't understand what you should be doing in the type of job they advertise for. This might show that the company doesn't know what they want from you and that they won't know how to properly support you and lead you in the role. Second, this could mean that they're trying to get you to do a higher level job for a lower level pay. Now, once you find out the salary they're willing to pay you to do the job, you need to make sure it matches up with the job description and what the interviewer mentions in their interview. And just a heads up, if you're looking to connect with other professionals just like you, jump in and join my free private community on Facebook, The Career Club. It's the perfect place online to ask questions about anything career related, get feedback, share your wins, and build relationships. We have now over 10,000 amazing professionals in this community. I'll place a special link for you down below. Now the sixth red flag you need to pay attention to is company reviews. Find out what others are saying about working for the organization. You can use resources like Glassdoor, Indeed, and Vault to learn more about the company culture by reading reviews from people who have worked there. Now you have to take these reviews with a grain of salt. It's hard to believe everything you read online, but if you see the same complaint showing up over and over again, this might be a sign you need to move on. In addition to online reviews, focus on your network. If you have any connections with people who work in the company, offer to take them to lunch or give them a call so you can ask them more about their experience working with the company. And if you don't know anyone who works with the company, start networking. Reach out on LinkedIn to current and previous employees. Ask them what they like about the company and if there was anything that was challenging about working there. And if you're new to LinkedIn and you wanna learn 10 easy steps to use LinkedIn properly, take a look at this video right here. Now remember, these are all helpful red flags to watch out for, but the biggest thing you need to do when looking for a sign to move on is to look for a match, which is our seventh red flag. Know your own professional goals and ask yourself if they align with the job and with the company. After one or two interviews, you'll probably start getting a gut feeling if this is a good match for you or not. Now try not to judge this just on one interview with one person, but after you've talked with a couple of people in the company. Really evaluate if you can see yourself as part of this team. They might have a more serious, stuffy attitude than you would prefer, and you know you would struggle connecting with people there and feeling comfortable at work. They may even require you to do some more overtime work than you're prepared for. Or maybe they are much more relaxed and even disorganized, but you like order and consistency. That might mean they are just not a match for you. There are a lot of things that might be a red flag for you, but not for someone else. It all depends on your goals and your priorities. Know what you want out of the job, ask questions, and do the work to find out if it's a good match for you. Now click or tap the video right here to learn what questions you should be asking in a job interview. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.